Hi everyone, it's Dragana from Sasebo. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to um, do some jelly prints today and I thought I'd just switch the camera on and I'll show you how I do it. So um, I want to create some backgrounds, uh, nature themed backgrounds and um, I picked some colors that I think would be good and the colors that I like so I'll show you I've got uh, these colors here like a brown and yellows and green and blue and a bit of red I don't know if I'm going to use all of them or some of them but I just kind of picked those and I think that would they would work together okay I also have a white acrylic um, I'm going to use my jelly plate the one that I made by myself <laughs> if you think how come it's kind of reddish it's because I used some inks and then I went to I chopped it up and melted it again and now it all turned pink so that's why it's that color and um but there isn't it just you know turned pink I don't know it's still usable um just going to use uh, this sprayer and I put a piece of acetate here because I like to mix my colors there and then put them on the plate rather than do it here because then I end up with big blotches of thick paint and I don't know it just doesn't work all the time I have some junk mail envelopes here that I use to clean my brayer and at the same time sometimes I end up with nice um, papers doing that because I like to use these envelopes in my journals and if they're like nicely colored it's better than just plain white so I have them ready there and I use this um, knife to mix the colors I also have some stencils that are kind of that sort of theme like that one this is all A4 and that's this one I think and this one and that one I don't know if I'm going to use all of them or some of them or none of them we'll see how it go I also have a few things that I like to use when I'm doing jelly prints like this is like from potato sack it can give nice background I have some of that I mean, that can be used as well to get imprint uh, these finer meshes they come from fly screens I think that's from the bag of oranges and you know some of these you have the ones bubble wraps ones with the small bubbles and with larger bubbles and you know some of these things always give nice designs and this is I don't even know what it is some sort of fabric or interfacing and it's quite thick and it's got those uh, I think I want to try using that one as well I don't know if it's going to work or not but I want to try and also this is from a tape and I, that I don't even know what it is for but you know I'm thinking maybe I can do some circles as well and what else oh yeah and I want to show you this these are some of my die cuts that I actually cut from foam and I glue them onto this and I haven't tried using them, but as you can see, I spent a lot of time making them and I just never used them. So I want to experiment with those as well. I want to see if it works or not. Maybe it was a waste of time me making all of these, but I just want to try it out today. As you can see here, I put a lot of small ones together. So I'm thinking, you know, I can do like a tiled background or something like that. So I want to try those as well. And... For the papers, so I'll show you. I've got some black paper here that I want to try. I've got some book pages, some maps, and also just some plain papers. I actually, these are like scrap papers. I've sort of started something and it didn't work out. So I just want to work on those. 
and we'll see how we go. All right, so but let's get started. I want to get some uh, plain backgrounds, like, you know, where we cover the whole thing and you just do a plain one without stenciling yet. I just want to clean up my a bit of dust here. I just use white, wet wipe. I think my jelly plates, plates started getting a bit of a mold underneath. I might have to make another one, but I think I can still get some nice prints from this one. Okay, that's ready now. Now, I want to create first some like brownish greenish background colors. I'm going to use some of that brown. And maybe a bit of that yellow. Oh. Add some green. I haven't used these paints and I didn't even realize this I tape both them. All right, and I'll just put some white there because I might need some. I need more color. I think I want a bit of darker color around the edges so I'm just going to add just some of that brown and I'm just going to roll it around the borders and I want a bit more lighter color in the center so I'll just add more of that yellow a bit too much. I don't like that the white is showing, so maybe with the second one, I will do this actually a little bit different. I will put just the brown first. Let's just do that. So we'll build up the layers. I like this 
brown. It's not too dark. It's like if it's too dark, I would have to add white to it. It seems that it's okay. that blue was there from before but the rest looks all right so i'll just let it dry a little bit and then now i will do the green bit let's now do the green and i think I don't want to go all the way to the edges, just in the middle. Not the middle, but the inside of the edge. That's it. No. dry enough I think Oops. okay now I picked up a bit of green as well now in the middle it's still white but I want to add some yellow now and I'll just mop up the green with the uh, Let's just use the envelope. This is to clean up. Great. Okay, let's just add some yellow. dry enough. Just wait for it to dry a little bit. It didn't pick it up. Perhaps the paint wasn't dry enough, but it's still better than it was. I will use the first one that we've done. It's, it seems to be dry. Yeah. No, I'm happy with that one. So for the next step, I want this to dry a little bit. And then I will do you know use the leaves or stencils or something else but for now i'll let it dry so so far i have two backgrounds ready now let's do some on the book page i want to see what that would look like so again here here i want the lighter color background um, rather 
have them brown, I'll just have the green and yellow. I just want to see what that would look like. And I might add a little bit of red just to see what that would look like. Just a tiny bit. Crimson red. paper it is really old the book is old and it kind of looks like it's really absorbent so I just want to see how it's going to take the colour oh I like it we have a nice green like olive green colour and a bit of a text is showing that's great again I just want to mop up this do some with the blue like the sky sky blue kind of thing this one and this is Turkish blue but that, that's all right it just I think it goes well with this green and yellow some of that and a bit of white oh I love it in the mixture. I like this color. Good. Now what should we print it on? Let's try the book page again. Try the same um, color on the black paper. I like it. It's kind of like a almost nautical look, like the greenish blue color of water. I love it. Okay, now let's mop up this again. Oops. Now, I said I'm going to try the same, but I'm going to use black paper. What did we have? We had a bit of 
pan and we had a bit of green. I really like this color. Now, these arrived in the mail just yesterday. I really want to try it on, so I'm going to put it on top like that and whisk the black pieces of paper. So let's see what they look like. is that I really like it a bit of gold would be nice there wouldn't it? Great. all right now I should probably wait for this to dry a little bit and then put another color on top and I think I want to put some gold I could use that yellow bag Gold would look better. It's to dry a little bit, and then when we add another color color on top, it's going to kind of pick it up and transfer it onto the paper. So this is just some gold. I don't know, lately I just, you know, I love adding a gold accents. I used to be more like a, I love silver more than gold. But in the last few months, I just can't get enough of this color. <laughs> it's just... Loving it. This is the one that we've done first, I think. Is it? Should we do it on that one? Or on this one, or just take completely new. Let's just take a new piece of paper. It's just probably a tea stone. Huh? I like it, but it's really bright. There is some paint left. I wonder if I use this to pick it up.
Nice. Now it looks good, really grungy with a bit of gold and this leaf pattern is just really nice. Yeah, put it aside to dry. All right. Now, this seems to be more like a ground or stone. Should I use just brown? There's a bit of gold left there. These will be great for my collages. Now we've got that pattern there. I should probably let it dry, but I'm thinking that's going to be brown. The pattern is going to be brown, and uh, th these bits I need some brighter color. Just which one should I use? Just really a light blue, uh, light uh, yellow or just gold. I think I want to use that yellow. I keep forgetting to clean my roller. But I also want some white there. I want to use this Very nice. This must be my favorite so far. And what I like to do with those later on, I sometimes like to draw or do stamps or stenciling on top. But that's really nice background. Really almost like the soil, like the dirt. Okay, let's 
clean up the plate. I want to try these out now and I think I want to go first the green green and brown actually one darker color I'm going to take some of these and I'll just just do like an imprint. It works like that. So they do work. Look. Get some small ones. It's actually hard to tell where I press. I want to use this one because that's too much gold there and I want the gold to show through the leaf and the rest to be darker so I think it's get this dry this might be a complete disaster I don't know so a lot of this a lot of this jelly printing for me it's just Experimentation. Wow. I wish the leaves show a bit more, but still, it's nice. I like it. It's really grungy and then pretty. I love it. Oh, it's done. Now let's do some with maybe flowers. flowers I think I want to use some some yellow and pink and white Bring this 
seems to be a lot of it. Okay, let's do some white but I just want to use this one first mm. oh, nice color One's the same, but it has these grooves. Feel the smaller ones. I shouldn't press too hard because these bits are kind of see what happened there. I got carried away. <laughs> and pieces of this but that's fine okay what should we do this on Oh, is that one that's 
to vám to celé. that obvious I must say I'm not that happy but I can see that some of it is left here so what I might do now is just add some more color on top which color should I use I just want to use more darker red with a bit of brown I want to also I want to try this putting this on top. Oops. Orange is back. And we have that one that we've done first or second time I think and I'm not that happy with it so I think I want to see if this is going to improve it it's coming up oh it's very interesting texture green is showing through This one, now we lost the flowers completely, we have the net showing through now. <sighs> Let's just use gold to see what's that going to do to it. Successful adventure. <laughs> just, I just do it this way. Like if you if you're new to jelly printing, um, and you have, you know, a bit of. Uh, Say. you think oh what am I gonna I'm gonna destroy the paper and stuff just get some scrap paper that you won't be sorry if it does work out you just throw it away wow I love this one I don't know if you can see almost looks like fish scales because there's a bit of gold oh my god it's so beautiful I don't know if it shows up there but the the gold is coming through and there's this net in, the, in that uh, reddish color 
a bit, bit of green that was on the paper from before. Really looks like goldfish almost. I love it. I could cut out flowers from this texture or maybe use it as um, to decorate the journal or just use it as a page as is. I love it. This So far this is my favorite. I'll show you all of them in the end. What do we have left here? Maybe this is just green. Maybe we can just pick up left. So perhaps a little bit of gold and that red will transfer so we don't have this uniform color. I love having layers of color. Yeah, it's a bit better. It's just not, not just plain green. It's got a bit of red now that's good now this one needs something on top that's like either darker color or brighter color either darker than this or brighter than this so uh, which i can do later on when i uh, stencil on top i think jelly printing is great if you want to get quick backgrounds um, done like the basic What should we do now? I want to try this. Maps. I want to make some. It's probably too big. I'll just see this pile. Okay. I want to see what would that look like. So, which color should I use? I think I should use some of that gold or yellow and blue. And I wouldn't want to cover everything. I still want to, some of the map showing, but most of it I want covered. So I'll just do that. Just clean up. There's a lot of paint here. Actually, I have to, I have to use this paint. There's quite a bit there. So I'll just do quickly one more with this. It's a shame to be, to waste it. I'll just still one quickly. not bad actually that green is showing through and you can see more butterflies wow i like it more can be done to it but so far interesting colors yellows greens pinks and a bit of gold and silver even great okay now let's do what that um, map thing so i want more blue around the edges <laughs> it's the 
starting to look interesting this year. And now the middle, I want some of that yellow. And I want to try this. I haven't tried that one. Potato sack. Just put it on top. Get in there. Is it even going to work? No, I'm not happy with that. But we have an imprint here. Look, it's really nice actually. And that one, I want to wait till it dries. And then I want to add some darker color. Perhaps, um, Black could look good, or dark brown, or even just darker blue. Maybe I'll do that, just darker blue. paint is really oh it's good it's old so i wasn't sure if it's gonna work because sometimes they when they the paint is too old it gets really um bluggy but this one isn't so just go over like so This should be done gently because I don't want my roller or brayer to pick up the color that's underneath. Okay, let's try again with the map. very interesting you see that the roads on the map are showing through here almost like cracks in the wall i love it and all it needs just is some stenciling on top or even just leave it like that it's really pretty now again we still have that left there now Pick it up with this one. Let's we'll see what it's looking like. Experiment. I think I have papers, but I've done like 10 layers of paint <laughs> until I got it right. Wow. I love it. I love the texture blue and yellow and it's darker around the edges lighter in the middle it's just beautiful i love it i really love it like on backgrounds like this when i see these 
I feel like just getting a brush or a pencil or whatever and just drawing something or adding like other elements like flowers or pictures or birds or something but it just it has depth I love it this video is about an hour long now and I think I want to leave some for next time and I will just take the photos of these um, prints that we've done together and I'll do like a slideshow in the end of this at the end of this video so you can have a look and perhaps in the next video we can work more on them and add other elements and do some stenciling or stamping and things like that but uh for now i think that's probably enough for one session all right so thanks so much for joining me today hope you had fun hope you're willing to try something like this or similar and uh see you in my next video bye for now